Hey everyone, ArsKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we did some things in Rogueport, and this time, we're doing more things in Rogueport. Uh, last time, we did a side quest, and that gave us the other Pianta Parlor card, the fun one we were missing. And, in last episode, we recovered... Covered. We covered everything that unlocked in the Pianta Parlor using that card and the one we got right before that. So, we've covered everything to do with the Pianta Parlor. Yay! Gambler's Galaxy and all that. And this time, we are doing the other two remaining Rogueport quests that we have right now. Well, hopefully. This one will have us go on the freaking train again, so I'm gonna do security code. You'll see why I'm annoyed with going on the train again. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Yes, yes, back to Glitzville we go. Uh, so this is awkward. Just through the episode, I will meet y'all in Glitzville. Da 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 da! Welcome right back to Glitzville, everyone! Please tell me this is the side quest that uses the freaking gold leaf and that I didn't just drag that along the whole game for nothing. Ah, you're that fellow, so you're the one that accepted my request? How'd you get here from Posse Heights so fast? Well, here's the thing. I forgot the code for the lock and briefcase, and the prototype of our company's new product is inside. This is a big deal. Better figure out how to get into that briefcase. I'll get sacked for sure. About that briefcase code, see, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, like anything you sit on. I used a number of chairs in the house I, houses I visited on business as the code. Excuse me? Don't judge me, I know it's weird. You gotta visit those places and count the chairs. The code has four digits. So here, the, here are the locations of the chairs, ready? Oh my god. Krupp's house, little bird. Larry's house in the Bogley Woods. Don Pianta's office in Rogue Court. Oh god. And the sweet chair in her lovely garden. Oh my god. Anything you can sit on. Please let me just hit put it in. I will look this up instead. I'm just gonna try and do this from memory. Uh, so maybe there was like. I feel like a solid two. I feel like a solid four. Got like three. Oh my god. Oh boy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Well. Uh. Do I want to save myself the time and just look the freaking code up? <laughs> well... You know what? No, this game makes me backtrack enough. I'm taking the liberty to just look the code up. Meet y'all in a second. Looked it up. Okay. Yeah, this game... By all means, they intend for you to go back to each one of these areas and count them, or... Crazier yet, somehow memorize that from a first time to an area. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. This game makes you backtrack more than enough times. We haven't even seen the worst of it yet, believe it or not. I'm just gonna... I just looked it up. <laughs> Thankfully, it's the same across every playthrough. So if you, for some odd reason, want to not be spoiled and go find out yourself by counting the freaking chairs, maybe don't listen to this next part. However, if you're like me and you don't care to go look, Here's the code. Two, I got that right. Apparently Flurry has freaking six chairs in her house. There's only two in Don Pianta's office. And there's five in total in Toodle's house area. Ah, it opened, yes. Thank you so very much. Maybe I can keep my job. I'll try to remember it from now on. Hold on a second. Please. Hmm, what? 
Sorry. You were going to combine my company's famous hot sauce with a stand's fat dog. You were going to call it the tongue blistering fat dog. I was sure it was a hit. Huh? I shouldn't give up so easily. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I'll just have to convince the fat dog guy. I'm on it. I won't leave this place until I convince him. Well, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. What? Your inventory's f Ugh. Hot sauce. Solve the trouble. Oh my god. Well. Why not? These things are super easy to get. It's a full heal. Like, seriously, these things are really freaking easy to get. Just return, leave and return Keel Hockey. You can freaking grind those things up. But we got the hot sauce. This item has no healing benefit. What it does have is an effect. If you use it in battle, you will increase your damage. But even more useful is that you can combine it with quite a few ingredients to get some interesting results. I don't remember what some of the better ones are off the top of my head, but I do remember there being some hits in there. Nothing I personally ever went for, but again, if you're doing a strategy like, the, you know, the one that lets you use multiple items in a battle, it's available. In the meantime, back to Rogueport I go. For the final quest, please be the one that uses the leaf. I can get that out of my inventory at least, please. Back over here in the east side of Rogueport, let's see what our final, uh, help quest is for this, uh, time around. Oh, right, Chef Shimi. Get those ingredients! I need- I need some ingredients for cooking food! The savages the tonsils! I need three things! A gold- Yes! A mystic egg, a kill mango! I'm waiting on board the XS Express for your very prompt help. Sure. Uh... Well, thankfully, we already have the Golden Leaf, which is the hardest item on that to get, just because it takes you all the way the freak back to, you know, uh, to the creepy steeple. The Kill Mango, we can get, get we can get in Kill Haki. As for the Mystic Egg, I'm not entirely sure, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna meet y'all in Kiel Haki where we can get the Mystic Mango at. And in the meantime, I'm gonna look up the Mystic Egg. Excellent. Muy, muy bueno. To, to see we go, amigo. Set sails. Destination Kiel Haki. Switch through that a little bit. See you there. Here we are back on board the Excess Express. Yeah, long time no say, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you do have to board the train and take the train trip all the way back to Pasha Heights again for this quest, but we are here with, whoa, new people. Goonies bring such joy and such sorrow, but they are all valuable memories, right? Uh, sure. No, you're not. Hmm, you're a good person. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have all the ingredients here. Hello! Yes, hello to you! Thank you for accepting my request. I need three ingredients. A golden leaf, a mystic edge, a kill mango. Each one has an exotic taste and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. Have you found them for me? Gold leaf! Yes, yes. Mystic egg! Kill mango! Now I have all the ingredients! They call to my palate and my skill, begging me to turn them into dele delicacies! Thank you much, my friend! This is your reward! 40 coins! I mean, hey. I kinda spent a lot of it. Last episode on Stupid Thing. Also, this is a good time to show this off. If you do get on the train, like I have, and you wanna, you know, pass the time so you can arrive somewhere, 
Go to bed. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Yep. Just like before, we stop at Riverside Station. So if there is anything else here that you missed, and there was a one or two good things here, this is your chance to get it. And thankfully, I already got everything, so I'm just gonna, you know, go back to sleep. That being said, they also force you out of the train, which is rather annoying. Let's go! Yeah, if you just walk back in, the train will immediately take back off. So don't do that by accident if you actually want to stop here. But alternatively, if you have no need to be here like I do, just walk back in. Perfectly fine. And if you go to sleep again... Bing, bong, bing, bong, attention all passengers. We will soon arrive at our final destination, Posty Heights. Yeah, thankfully there's no, like, third day on the train or anything like that. After you sleep twice, you will be arriving at Posty Heights, which, you know, has a convenient warp pipe that will take us right back to Rogueport. And it'll take us to the sewers, which is double convenient for us. Arriving at Posty Heights... You can still walk around the train if you need to, but we we got everything here. We good. We good. You still gotta walk up front though to get out of the train. That being said, we are Well hmm. I guess I have no clue what the time of this episode is, just because I've cut so much. Oh boy, this will be fun to edit. Uh I'm gonna end it here. That'll leave us with a clean slate next episode. So Thank you all for watching this episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Next time, we will uh, go back to Rogueport, through the sewers, to The Thousand Year Door, and find out where our final crystal star is. Thank you all for watching. I've been KOS, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye!